Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. If you want to go straight to a particular type of cell format, there's some great shortcut keys. So first off, general number format is control and the squiggly line, right? Number format, control shift one, straight off. Percent, control shift five percent. Currency, control shift four, and that will put up whatever your default currency is for your version of Excel. And this one I love, it is the date, which is control and hashtag. And there you go. I don't like the format of the sales numbers on this sheet. Highlight that. Control one brings up the format sales box. Whatever's highlighted at this time, so which is the dotted line around number, you can see there. Arrow keys move between the various tabs. Tab moves between the various boxes. So we can say we want a number. Move on, number of decimal places, zero. Use the comma separator. You can see the letter U is underlined. Hit the letter U. You can see the OK button is highlighted, so we can just hit enter on that. Oh, I wanted something else done. Control one. I want some kind of ridiculous uh, font color. So I'm going to go right, tab, 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 tab. Font down. Whatever font color I want. How about bright green? Black. Selected. Tab again. OK. Off we go. There are also two ways in which you can make your own shortcut keys as well. The first is very simple. Firstly, you need to add the command you want the shortcut for to your quick access toolbar. And the way you do that is you click on the customized quick access toolbar up there, go to more commands. And uh, for example, I'm going to pick refresh all, which is if you've got a lot of pivot tables, very useful. Click in there, click OK. Now, once it's up there on your quick access toolbar, you can click Alt and that will give me number seven straight away to access that. So that is the first way. Secondly, by clicking, hovering over these icons, you get told what the shortcut keys are anyway. So it just so happens I've added one there. Control Alt F5 would do the job anyway. Right, the next thing is if you're doing something a bit more complicated, you can simply record it as a macro. And when you hit record macro, one of the things it asks you for is the shortcut key. I could type, and by holding down Shift, I can make a, put a letter in, so I can have Control Shift D, for example. Uh, but the problem is, you does it allow you to pick letters that are already assigned to other shortcuts? So be very careful which letter you pick if you're going to go down this route. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.